Okay guys, um, thanks for joining my channel, uh, checking out my videos, uh, my subscriber comments are getting up there, it's uh, good to see people are enjoying them, people are commenting on them, um, getting a lot of new subscribers, I'd like to thank Ian Matthews for that, um, he was giving me a shout out on his videos on that, so thanks for that Ian, uh, appreciate it. So today I got this in the, um, in the post, um, it's a game console I've been told by a... Um, by the person that sent it to me who wants to remain anonymous doesn't want to be um, doesn't want to be a subscriber of mine who sent this to me uh, they want me to take it apart to see if there's any gold recovery material they said it's not working um, I don't actually know what game console it is so we'll we'll take the packaging apart and we'll see what it is and we'll go from there so it's like an unpacking surprise and we'll see what we get to take apart some sort of game console and so I've done game consoles before so we'll see which one this is um, I've done I think Xbox ones so I put a link to the video up here somewhere where I've done the Xbox and I've done a um, PlayStation as well so um, I'll put a link for that one up as well so the first one that went up was the Xbox and now somewhere here should be the PlayStation 1 hopefully I think it was a PlayStation not PlayStation 1 PlayStation 3 I think about like that I think now I can't remember I've done a few videos on stuff so I can't remember what they all are so what are we in here okay this looks vintage yes and we're in here they were rattling around so it's definitely not working anyhow that's for sure so this is uh, Pristronics Tournament Home Video Entertainment Center VC6000 So obviously the cartridges went in here These are on offs We have some controllers Okay uh, What's in here? Oh, second one! Oh, looky day Get two of them So this one is a different one This is an Astronic MPV1000 So same thing again, same idea Again a lot of rattling around so nothing working as, as the person said to me and what are we here oh some old game cartridges came with it um, so we'll actually have a look inside in game cartridges mm, we'll look through through them and see if there's anything of value on the boards on the game cartridges again and um, because i was given this by a subscriber i'm not going to sell it and um, sometimes it might be worth selling on ebay someone might need parts out of it or something like that so we we'll, um, we won't because i got it off a subscriber and when you get it off a subscriber they give it to me for the reason of tearing it down so there's also a um power so that will have a transformer in it for copper so we'll just lower the camera back down and we'll adjust so we'll start off with one of them and see what we have here so we're going to have some electrical cord uh, straight off but we'll start off by taking the screws out so we'll have a look at these these are big screws so we might have an issue getting down into them um, da, 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 da. I don't think this will fit down. No, it won't. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got my little. Da, she may work for me. the bit I hate because as I've unwrapped it live on video as I'm doing it I may not have everything I need in front of me so this is where it gets awkward let me see will this fit down into it nope it'll fit down but I don't have a big enough screwdriver on it do, do, do. 
Let's start at the, the front ones because they are closer. And if need be, we can smash it out. Because it's only plastic and it's not for resale, so. Sometimes we have to use brute force if we don't have everything in front of us at the right time. So that'll be a lesson to me to be more prepared the next time and have more screwdrivers. I'll knock them out first. Okay, okay, okay. And we're just going to do the brute force one, I think. Two, three. There we go. So, who needs screwdrivers? All right. So, again, we've got a lot of screws in the back here. We'll quickly remove them. You can see a lot of wiring here. So if you're not a subscriber and you're just checking this video out, uh, you haven't come to my channel, um, what I do is I scrap out old electronics, uh, mainly for gold recovery on the, on the gold electronic side of things. I also scrap out stuff like vacuum cleaners, um, everyday items, televisions, um, for copper. Um, so what I do is uh, on the gold recovery side of it, I scrap out electronics like these um, and I see what is on them that I can recover gold from. Um, I just do it as a hobby more than anything else because you're not going to make big money out of this. You'll make a bit if you do it, if you get the stuff for free. Uh, actually, I know some people that buy stuff, but they have to get it at the right price. Um, they'll buy, buy tons, of, tons of old computers, stuff like that and they'll scrap them out, uh, they'll sell on the copper from them, they'll sell on the aluminium and they'll keep the chips and stuff like that from them for gold recovery. So if you want to see how you can get old electronics and get recover gold from it and silver and platinum, stuff like that, subscribe to my channel and hopefully and I'll be able to show you how I do it. Um, how we go from this sort of stuff into a little nugget of gold. Okay. So, and we have a lot of wiring. Just remove quickly. Like this. Okay. So, mainly. What I'm looking at here, I'll just pull a few of these wires off. We'll use the brute force method again because they're not very well secured in 1980s stuff. Didn't use as much solder as the new stuff will. It's more, it was put together by hand, the machines. So, we'll try and remove as much as we can to get a little bit of access to it. And see, do these solder rip here? Or do I need to get a knife to not we ripped it? And these wires here should rip off fairly easy. Okay, so close look at the, the actual board itself. I can see here we have some gold connectors inside of here that look like they're gold flashed. So there's two screws holding them on. I'll see if I can remove the screws and that might give us a better look at them. <laughs> okay, different size screws. You need to try four or five different screwdrivers before you find the right size that you're looking for. Let's see if this head works. That seems to sit better. So 
the, I think this is my first um, one of these type of type of um, consoles that I've taken apart. So wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I see a little bit of aluminium. I see IC chips. I see a uh, few. This is uh, this part now is the gold. It seems to be gold connected on it. Uh, little gold connectors, but. Not really much, but I didn't expect much from when I opened when I took it out of the package in there. So screws seem to be out, but don't seem to be doing much more. There's a little nuts here. That's what it is. We'll just remove these two little nuts here in the back. Okay, screws are out. Does that release out anything for me? Not really. Not really. Um, so leave a lot of comment down below. Do you like what you like scrapping? What you scrap out? What do you collect? What do you keep off boards? Um, if you're into if the gold recovery, have you recovered much? How do you find it? Um, So we'll just try and remove this from the top of it so we can get a look at these gold connected pins if we can. There we go. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere but still doesn't want to come out. I'm just going to go off camera for a second to put the screwdriver into this other end. It's a bit awkward trying to keep everything on camera. Just so I can get the screwdriver in underneath to try and give you a look at what is on underneath here. So talk among yourselves for the moment. Now we're finally got it off. So if you look here then we have little gold flashed pins. So I'll try and break one off so we can get a closer look at it. It's a darker colour gold, it's more I'm hoping it's gold and not copper. But um usually they just put the whole copper pin in if it was copper they wouldn't just flash it over so it's, it seems to be a gold. Um, so we've got limb gold pins and the other items that of that I'll be using off this board so I removed them gold pins I'll add them into my gold pin collection for future um, gold refinery and gold recovery then we have the IC chips so again these are EEPROM IC chips some of them if you can find some stuff, some of the higher grade stuff will have gold legged pins and we'll have a little die window here which you will see gold inside of but usually going across here connecting these legs inside will be gold bonding wires usually so I'd connect them up and I'll redo a video on them how I recover the, um, the gold from them so two little two of them and then we also have smaller versions of them here so again they just pop out so again they're not gold legged pins so um, them legs will be removed before I go uh, recycling them so that seems to be it on that board and um, so what I'm going to do is I'll leave that board aside for a moment uh, plastic here and we've got some little board underneath so let's have a look and see what's connected to this board so you'll have your copper wiring and stuff like that as well uh, that I'll keep. Uh, the copper wiring I just throw into a into a bucket and um, I sell it as it is when it's that thin a wire. If it was thicker wire, uh, I may strip it back depending on how time I have and stuff like that, just to increase the value slightly. 
but um, it's not going to increase it massively depending on your it's actually depending on your your scrapyard what they will give you for it as it is um, you know so some some scrapyards is only 30 cent a kg within the between stripped and non-stripped for me so um, it's not worth sometimes stripping it out um, to increase by 30 30 cent a kg so by the time you strip out a kg the amount of time and effort um, unless I find a quicker and easier method of doing it than I am then it's not really worth it so what are we here first I thought that was gold flashed but it doesn't seem to be gold flashed it seems to be like a silvery so possibly silver so again I'll test that with um, it's just with the lighting it's it's very hard to tell if that's a gold or it's a thing so I'll just take it to a bit better light so I can get a closer look no it seems to be a silver flash so again and we have two connectors here you can hear them clicking so they will have silver usually under them as well there'll be silver inside of them little switches so we'll keep them for silver recovery um, I said that, that you can test silver using a bleach and the discolorment if you put silver or bleach a little dot of bleach on it you'll see the discolorment on it uh, to tell you it's silver uh, if it's a silver and um, you can go from there so again we have little dots here which usually will be silver and I'll also keep this here because sometimes these have silver coating on them these little switches will have a little dot of silver in here in the center of it so I'll keep them as well for silver recovery um, so where the contacts and usually in the center here is silver contacts as well so we'll keep that for silver recovery so that's it then under here this was nothing so that's just a little bit of uh, steel it looks like a, a steel hinge so nothing there any more value now the little controllers so let's see if we can get access to this controller and see what the controllers are made of okay so again looks like silver connections here and here so we'll just break off the wires and we wouldn't be lucky enough to have gold under here would we under these little connections so we'll break one out if we can there we go No, it looks to be silver. Again, nothing to be sneezed at. A few all silver little contacts. So that's what's inside that controller. So we put that aside. And then we have our wire again, which is here. If we can remove the little holders first. And um, we'll remove that later. I'll just cut the cut that so I have my wire and wire saw. Same being this controller, so we we'll leave them aside for a minute. We don't need to go any further. We we'll just check this here to see what have we in here. So we've just some I should have a pliers by rights to just twist them tops. We'll come back to that if I remember. Last time I say I'll come back to something in a video and I forget about it. Okay, so that was that one. Um, this is the second one. Again, I'm not I'm expecting the exact same. A lot of times these were made by the same companies or made by uh, one company and different different um, different companies bought off them then and changed names and used different names on them. Um, so this is made in Hong Kong. The other one says duh, 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 it's the exact same. Sticker looks the same. Made in Hong Kong. Uh, just two different companies names on it but the manufacturer would probably more likely be the same company uh, British designed registration number 984366 and the same on this one so I'm expecting the exact same stuff inside of this even though there were two different companies or maybe they were the same company and used different branding but I'm expecting nothing different so 
we'll just open the screws again and rip it open like the same as the last time and if it's the same if it's the same board looking we won't even bother going any further with it because there's no point showing you the exact same thing again but I'd like to thank the person who sent it to me I don't want to mention his name because he said not to mention his name um, so people if they send me stuff I'll scrap it out for them um, Again, I won't scrap. I won't scrap stuff that I've already scrapped. So this was something I hadn't scrapped. Um, he told me it was a game console, but it wasn't a PlayStation or an Xbox. So um, I was trusting that he was telling me the truth, and um, I said I'd take it because I'd already scrapped out Playstations and stuff like that. And I have a few more belong to myself to scrap out. So for my own use, there is some good stuff in them, but. At the moment, I don't want any more of them because I said this is a hobby, not a business I'm doing. Okay. So I'm just going to go off screen and rip this apart again. So we looks the same, but we won't know until we turn the board. Is it the same board? Or did they update it or did they change anything in it? But the chances are it's the exact same board. few less wires running on this side so whether this was an older model or a new model where they did would use more solder than wires a lot of these old stuff you'll see when stuff didn't work when they were making them and they designed the board and something didn't work they'd use a wire to connect between two areas uh, besides running another circuit through the board so like here where this wire ran from here to here there may have been a bad connection or there may have been something wrong they may have designed something wrong, so they did add this wire to it. So you'll see that in a lot of old, old electronics. These wires running across the board and you'll open another one and they, they won't be on it. So they would have changed the design in the meantime and solved that problem. But rather than start again and throw away the boards where the design was done wrong, they'll just add a wire and create that connection. I'm not expecting anything different really on this board to be honest with you. So when we turn it, if it looks the same, that is it. Unless I see something different. So we have a little nut here. So they're uh, not gold um, legged, as I was saying. So again, they're just to add them to my IC chips. Just remove these quickly. Well, I won't even bother actually because we we know what's already there so I won't go any further with that it's the exact same as the other one there's no difference in it so we put them aside for a second and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check one of the games to see if there's anything worth in here because again you have a little board so sometimes they may be gold fingered boards but judging by the rest of the um, the rest of the console I'd be doubting that I doubt they went to the effort of putting in um, gold when they didn't bother doing it when it was silver. So I'd be expecting either silver contacts or maybe just... So there is no screws on this. There's just a sticker holding it here. So if you have these um, game consoles for gold recovery, not really worth taking apart to be honest, you will probably get, if you're working, you'll get more on eBay. Again, the games you could probably sell on eBay, but because I was given this by a subscriber, I won't be selling this on eBay. Um, I'll just scrap it out completely, or put it aside and keep it for maybe just to have 
as a little souvenir so there must be little screws here because I see it doesn't seem to actually we'll just go off screen for a second to get a better grip to pull it apart okay so I've, there must be screws in under here because of the way it broke so we'll just take off the sticker and we'll see yes there's screws here So there's screws on one side of it and not on the other side of it. So I've already got a quick peep inside when I was breaking it. A part of what was on this, but we'll show you all here now that it is not gold. So again, it's just a little board containing probably silver contacts, which are still worth collecting, but it's not gold and again we have a nice C chip which is soldered on this time so again we can just use the heat gun to remove that or we can use a chisel we just use the chisel and we just run along here break it and pull it off and um, won't let me in underneath so we will have to use a chisel to to remove it and there will be some gold usually gold bonding wires inside of there so we'd have some IC chip an IC chip and that's it and a little silver little tabs here usually so again, you can use the bleach, dot of bleach on it, and it, you know by the discolorant if it's silver or not. So that's kind of it for the video. Uh, thanks to the subscriber who sent it in to me. I appreciate that. Um, I never scrapped one of these out. It was interesting to see what it was. Um, interesting, but as in scrap value or as in gold recovery value, not really worth it. Um, every time I look at that, I think it's gold flash, but it's not. It's quite a thick layer of silver. Um, uh, more than likely uh, where the contacts were so again we can just put a little bit of dot of bleach on it and you'll see uh, what's on it uh, was there something I said I was coming back to there it was so it's this little board in here not board but um, this item here so if I can get in underneath it and just open it and see what was inside of here we said we'd come back to it and usually I forget but this time I remembered so it's a little power board two little bits of copper two very small little bits of copper on it and a lot of these resistors and uh, they can be tantalum sometimes on it and that's it nothing else so wasn't really worth coming back to but we came back to it so uh, so thanks for watching the video guys thanks to subscribe for sending the stuff in like uh, share comment subscribe um, so that was that was an awkward enough one to do and um, I've also done a second video as well that I'll be putting up later um, so I have two videos coming fairly quick after each other so this one and uh, there's one on a car stereo that I take apart so I'll probably upload this one first, or I might upload the car stereo one. I don't know which one I'm going to upload first. Depends which one I edit it best, or I edit it first. And um, we'll upload them videos. If you're watching this and the car stereo one isn't up there, there's a car stereo one coming as well. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, subscribe. See you on the next one. Okay, guys, so I thought the video was finished, but um, it hasn't. I was just taking the boards further apart off screen and I just see, noticed something and I said I'd come back and show you. So let me get the right screw, hopefully, for doing this. Driver to remove this one. Is that the one? Nope. We'll have to go with a bigger one. Yes. Okay, so I was just taking off. Um, so I'd removed the gold pins that were here and um, I just removed them gold pins as I said I was going to do on them so you do know that I do break them down further afterwards it's just the video is just for demonstration then afterwards I'd go through and do what I said I was going to do on the boards but I just don't want to waste time showing you all that so I just noticed something here if I can remove this that I said it was worth showing because I haven't come across this before, so maybe this is something that's on vintage, vintage boards. So we'll just take that bit of aluminium usually. And we'll remove this item and show you what I found. Okay, 
we found gold pins. So this little MOSFET, I think is what it's called, has gold pins on it. So a nice little find there. So again, you can hit this with a hammer, break it down, you should have a little gold contact inside of that. Um, try and hold it a bit steadier. So that has gold legs on it, which is a nice little find. Um, don't usually find them with gold legs on them. So again, I'll hit that with a hammer and break it down. So I'll just check the second one. And so these were the little gold pins. I said I was going to remove them. So there are your gold pins. And uh, we also have that little gold um, legged MOSFET. So we'll put him in there. I'll just have a look at the second board and see does it have gold on it as well. And yes, it does. So again, we'll just remove that screw. So again, we have gold pins on that. So that's a nice little find. And you can actually see the gold plating here on the MOSFET. Sorry, gold plating, this is all gold plated. So again, it's a nice little find. So hit that with a hammer to break off the plastic. And that's a nice little find on them. So um, that turned out a bit better as I was going through the board. I say sometimes I miss stuff on the board. So if anyone's seen anything I missed, just let me know because that was something uh, I hadn't spotted the first time. But as I was taking the stuff apart off camera, um, I came across that, the little gold connectors on them. And um, it was just something that I thought was worth showing to you. So thanks for watching again and uh, keep on looking for the gold, guys.